when setting up for a Bulgarian split squat, you can just start seated on a bench to find your stance. You can kick one leg out, extend it right out, then just come up onto that leg, kick the other leg back onto the bench, and that's gonna give you a pretty good position for where you need to be for a split squat that biases neither the quad or the hips too much. So you wanna, generally for strength, you wanna have a stance that you can get both knee and hip equally, and your head generally lines up over the foot as you do your reps. You can bias this by coming closer to the bench and you will get more of a quad focus with a lot more knee. Or as you go further out, you're not gonna knee, have so much knee bend and you're gonna get more in the hips. And so that'll be more of a hip focused split squat. Once you can do your rep range with your full tempo maxed out, you can start to add load. When we do this, maintain a balanced front foot and also just use the back foot for balance, don't put too much pressure in, otherwise you won't know how much load is going into this front leg. So you just wanna use that to stabilize and really focus on pushing through that front leg. You'll do that back leg second. Between sets, you might want to take a rest between your sets side to side, but I'd recommend trying to knock out as quality sets, as quality reps as you can, both sides generally matching unless you've got injury or some type of deficit on side to side. And then for strength reasons, you would generally just go on the weaker side and then on the stronger side. When you're adding load, make sure that you keep balance over this front leg and you don't let the shoulders drop. You wanna maintain this nice position, then push through that front leg as you, as you hit these reps. So don't let those shoulders roll. You're not going as to how low the dumbbells can get. You're focusing on the tension through this front knee and hip. 